Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another Super Mario video, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a year-end catch-up as we look at some new-ish 4-inch Super Mario figures by Jack Specific, like this Fire Mario, which is basically just updated articulation, you get the same Fire Flower, but technically it's new, so... I definitely grabbed it, but you can read up on Fire Mario, see all of his articulation, and his fellow wave mates, which, as you'll soon see in the video, I totally goofed on one of these, but Builder Luigi, this is one I have been looking forward to finding. This was a pain to find, I'll tell you that. He comes with his utility belts and his L hammer, and on the back side, of course, you can read up all about Builder Luigi, one of my favorite Super Mario games, of course, being the Super Mario Maker. That's very cool. So, uh, that being that, we also have Cat Toad, which, fortunately for Cat Toad, is clogging the shelves right now, at least around me, but he comes with the Super Bell. He's a teeny tiny little Cat Toad, of course. Mario Bros and the, and the rest of the cast, all obsessed with the cat costumes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad that I've looked at every single one of these figures on the back in some way, shape, or form. So those are all reissues. This one, so happy to find. Of course, took a uh, quick holiday vacation, went to a, a local Walmart in the Pacific Northwest, and found Boom Boom. Finally, right? This guy was the hardest one to find, and the Walmart that I went to had at least 10 on the shelves. None of them in Southern California. They're all up in Washington, of course. <laughs> Happy to have. And then this one I grabbed because I thought, well, yeah, I got Peach, right? Do I have Peach? And it's one of those things which I will talk about later in the video. Jack Specific needs to do something that differentiates releases because everything kind of looks the same. And I've said this multiple times in videos, but this Peach is just basically a new Peach with an umbrella, so it's a new accessory. But in the meantime, uh, this is gonna be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at several new Jack Specific 4-inch Super Mario figures from their wonderful Super Mario action figure line. And while I got you guys here, I just wanna say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids, and if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, guarantee you'll find something here that you like. It's been a while from looking at Mario figures, but I'm happy to say we got five new ones to check out. And again, I use new in quotation marks, of course, especially with this first Mario. This is the Fire Flower Mario with the same Fire Flower that I have gotten a dozen times, whether they put it in the calendars or 2.5 inch, you get the idea. This and, and really the only difference between this and other prior released Super Mario Fire Flower Marios is just the updated articulation, right? He does have a little bit of a better paint job, which, yes, that is ideal once new figures come out. It's all in the eyes, basically. He's got updated Mario eyes, and then, of course, the feet now move on these Marios. So if you're in the stores and you're much like me and you're thinking... Do I have this one? Yes, you probably do. But to tell you the truth, I would love to see inner swappable hands, something like that, like an outstretched hand, like he's actually throwing a fireball. Heck, a fireball effect would be awesome for Fire Mario. So let's start changing things up, Jack Specific. Now, with the Cat Toad, you get the Super Bell, which has great paint all over it, nice reflective gold. And then you have the Cat Toad, which he is... A teeny tiny figure, and by all means, I'm not complaining, these are $10 figures, but this one is kind of pushing it. Maybe put a little bit more in the box. He has very basic articulation. His little cat head will spin, the hands, the arms, the feet, even though this side was a little bit stuck right here, will move. And then he has some adorable tail articulation as well. So again, this one, not a whole lot going on with it. Yes, I'm always happy to get a new four inch Mario figure, that's for sure, but it's nothing like mind blowing, we'll just say. Now, with Peach, uh, she definitely has a new umbrella, which of course, as a madman collector, yes, you're gonna need the Peach Umbrella. It goes with the video game, too, right? Super Princess Peach. But 
And I'll show you a comparison in just a few. I was actually uh, on to something for getting this one. Now, this could have been painted a whole heck of a lot better, especially in the joints towards her shoulders. Minimal articulation. She's a bit of a, a slug of a figure from the waist down, right? She'll do a little twist, minimal head, the arms. You can kind of sort of put the umbrella. See, a hand that holds the umbrella or an umbrella that opens? That would have been kind of cool. Now, Luigi, this one, very cool. One of my favorites out of the five. This one is basically a repaint, but he's got a new fancy spancy Super Mario Maker belt. That's always nice to see. And I love the new head portrait as well with his hard hat helmet and the L. And you'll get the basic articulation. This one's nothing crazy. I do like that he comes with a hammer and they did put an L on this hammer. So it's not the same one as Mario's. That's pretty cool. And he does have hammer storage. So if you want to throw that in his belt, you can. Although it's going to kind of hinder some of the articulation articulation when getting his arms down that's for sure but with the leg articulation nothing in the feet yet they haven't updated luigi like they've done mario hopefully that's coming soon but he's an excellent figure and then you have boom boom with a coin and much like all the other accessories we've gotten we have a million coins but boom boom himself he is the highlight he's the standout he is the new new figure of course, besides Cat Toad, but Boom Boom is just more exciting. He's very heavy, too. That's nice to see. He's a big brick of a figure. His head will swivel. He's got these massive fists, and he does have butterfly joints, just as the 2.5-inch one did as well. His wrists will spin, but I want to show you the shell. I really want to point this out. The reds, the whites, everything is painted beautifully, and then they have a little bit of brown to subsection out the divots of the shell. That's really cool. Also, in, in a weird fashion, you can't get the butterfly joints to go at the same time. It pushes the other one like that. So just an odd end thing. Nothing that's crazy. He also has some leg articulation with the feet articulation. They'll spin and a little bit of a, a tail swivel as well. It's a teeny tiny tail. So if you manage to get your fingers and kind of move it around, there you go. So excellent figure, this boom, boom, highly recommend him. And just to show you some comparisons between all my other Mario's, especially let's say fire Mario. Yes. Little differences in the paint, the colors, lighter colors, darker colors the eyes are painted a little bit differently the flesh tone and then you have the updated articulation so it is a little bit different much like all these other marios in my collection and i don't really think i need any more marios but heck they keep making more right as long as you get a new costume going like a safari mario and propeller mario and the creepy penguin Mario. Where are his hands? But I digress. This is definitely a fire Mario that you definitely may not need. Now, and in terms of Luigi, from ice to fire to builder to cats, and then plane. <laughs> Yes, a lot of Luigi's happening in the Jack Specific 4-inch Mario line. They all share the same bodies, except for the cats, of course. But I really like how Builder Luigi goes with Builder Mario. I think that those are very cool. Again, love that video game and the sequel. It's just nice to see. Those are nice figures. And you get some M's and L's going on on the various hammers. So that's cool as well. I'm glad they didn't reuse the hammer. And at least it's it's something different between the two bros. Now, in terms of Cat Toad, you get to see how truly small Cat Toad is. Now, Toad's not a big character in general, but Cat Toad, yeah, he's even smaller than the others. And suffice to say, this is not even half the Toads <laughs> that I have in my four inch collection. And then just to show you the scale chair with the other cat costumes from Luigi to Mario and they have Peach as well. She's around here somewhere. But yes, he's a very small cat toad, but they scale well between the two Mario brothers. So I definitely dig that. He's just not a whole lot going on, basically is what I'm trying to say. And this, I was actually right in picking up this Princess Peach because of the umbrella mainly, is that yes, there's some different colors, some different paints happening, and some different sculpts from the waist down, at least. And if you look at it up close, yeah, there's uh, pretty distinct differences between these two princesses. So again, I'm happy to have it. No, it's not huge differences, of course, mainly in the eyes, the flesh, the crown, one's gold, one's yellow. 
the umbrella. So again, much like Fire Mario, not a whole lot, but it's enough to call it a new figure. And then just to end it off with Boom Boom and the rest of the Koopas, he fits in beautifully. Very nice to have this four inch version of Boom Boom, that's for sure. So from Wendy to Lemmy to Magic Koopa, and then Pair of Bones. So this is where I goofed big time and I'm a terrible collector as a result. I don't have Dry Bones. I saw Dry Bones, I've seen him many times and the whole time I'm thinking, I already have him, right? Jax, I'm begging you, please put a star or something on the back of the card that just lets the collectors know they've been there day in and day out for these years now. This one's new because chances are with all these characters that are kind of just variances of each other, this is going to happen again. Put a little star, put a little asterisk, right? Something like that that would make me look at it and go, ah, I need this one. This one's new. I'm counting on you, Jax. Please do it in 2024. That would be amazing. But in either case, yes, as I said, boom, boom takes the cake. So that's my wrap up for the 2023 year of the Jack specific world of Super Mario four inch figures. And yes, technically we're not done yet. I have to get to dry bones now, but I will be locating him soon. Fingers crossed again. These are not crazy must-have figures. Boom Boom definitely is. Builder Luigi definitely is. And if you're a completist, definitely get Cat Toad. Peach, minor differences here and there. It's basically the same figure as with Fire Mario. But I digress. They are fun to have. They're fun to grab. They're around 10 to 12 bucks, depending on which store. You can't go wrong with that price. And they are so friggin' spot on. I'm always happy to grab a new Jack specific Super Mario figure. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Super Mario. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I'd like to see some changes in 2024. I'd like to see new accessories, hands, things that are a little bit different than the usual, right? Been saying that for a while. Let's see it happen, Jackson. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.